Hi, and welcome to another episode of Playful Strategy Weekly. I'm Villain Vanderhorst, a brand and marketing strategist, specializing in everything to do with play. And as you might know by now, in these episodes that are quite short, we go over different aspects of books. And uh, so far in this series, we're looking at the book Man, Play, and Games by sociologist Roger Caillois. I am sorry I missed a few weeks. Uh, unfortunately, I had a family, well, I was going to say emergency. I mean, sad, very sadly, my father uh, passed away. Uh, I may or may not do specific content video about that. I don't know. I took a few weeks, of course. And right now, I just wanted to resume the normal videos because I have a content plan. It's already there. I've already read it and uh, I knew what I was going to do. Uh, and we'll see if I, I talk more about my father or not. I mean, de definitely this being a weird year in 2020, uh, my dad's funeral was on Zoom for a lot of people who could not attend it. So it makes it that I have a recording and I, it's completely different from the Playful Strategy Weekly videos, but I'll publish at some point a blog post uh, with all the content of the different things that we said, because time being as it is, we didn't manage to reach everybody, and it's just to share all the words that we said in his uh, memory, but completely different topic. Last video, we talked about the first, well, all the classification of games that uh, Roger Caillois makes in his books are against a major spectrum and we looked at one end that he calls paedia. I went this side of the video, I think, with my hands. And the other side, <laughs> which is uh, what I, th I thought paedia was all about, freewheeling, complete leisure, no rules, just, you know, kids screaming around playing, right? Uh, that kind of thing. And then we have on the other side what he calls ludus, which is everything that is controlled, thought through. Uh, there's a certain amount of, like... the. Oh, Everything that the complete opposite of discipline, order, uh, games with very strong and precise rules, that forms of play, that form of play. And the, I mean, the kinds of games that I think about, the one that really strikes to mind are the category altogether are abstract strategy games. And of course, the most famous nowadays is chess. So, chess, I think of when I think of Ludus. You think of a chess club, you think of very serious kids really like operating their brain and thinking through all the rules. So that's what it makes me think of. I was going to show you a chess set, but I actually don't even have one. I honestly have not played a lot of chess. My grandfather on my mom's side is the chess expert in the family. He's played, I mean, he's just turned 98 and he's been playing since he was less than 20. Uh, I, I picked up a bits and pieces, but I never really fully practiced. So I'm not at all a chess expert. Um, the other one that I do have, and but I'm not an expert either. You might as well. I'm, I'm more on the other side of that spectrum. Scrabble kind of fits sort of within. It's an interesting one, Scrabble, because it can fit both. The serious Scrabble heads go on really strong on the side of Ludus. People who play casually might think that Scrabble is a game of words and play around with words. And there's a little bit more balance between that um really serious orderly side and a paedia, which is a little bit more leisurely and fun. Uh, not that Ludus is not fun, actually. That's a that's a misnomer, sorry. Um, more just free, chaotic. Uh, but people who are serious Scrabble heads, and I have a couple of friends who are, who are place Scrabble on the more Ludus side of things, I would say. Uh, this hand? I can't remember what I did in the last video. Anyway, and the uh, given I was illustrating with the heartwarming, well, in this case, heartwarming, uh, based on a true story Disney movie, I thought of the movie Queen of Katwe uh, with Lupita Nyong'o and actors that I can't remember the names of right now, even though I just watched the trailer just again. A, a really fun, beautiful, inspired by a real story video of a, a teenage girl who finds out, you know, figures out that through a chess club that she's a bit of a chess prodigy, a complete chess prodigy, actually. And uh, a lot of, of course parallels between socioeconomics level of life and being able to jumpstart and make it through and using any opportunity in this case it's chess uh so a fun heartwarming movie very much disney family classic i mean I, it's only a few years old i was going to say classic but in that same vein you know there's a lot of different disney movies along those lines and uh inspired and in using all the very you know ordered rules of chess in the same way that the rules of socio so social classes are ordered in such a way but if you sometimes by some miracle in this case you know her walking across and figuring out that there's a chess club you could be considering that a miracle depending on what you your definition of a miracle is 
And uh, so, yeah, so that's uh, what I would recommend as a movie. Uh, on the side of uh, games, it's funny because I have a lot more, not that they don't have rules, they certainly have rules, but they're, a lot of my games are, in my library are not really expressive of the extreme of Ludus. I deck the cards, I guess, could be coming into the same category as well, perhaps. But uh, in any case, that's about it for this video and this week. I'll be back for another video next week. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and you can always find me if you want to discuss any branding or marketing strategy projects uh, at uh, my website. That's www.icecreamforeveryone.net spelled out. Dot net spelled out. And my email, villem, W-I-L-L-E-M, at icecreamforeveryone.net. That's about it. Good evening, morning. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.